Today's video is all about lighting. Lighting. Today I'm finally doing something about the quality of the lighting in my videos. And also the lighting in my garage. Previously, I've been relying on the overhead lighting, which is a couple of fluorescent tubes, one of which, this one, tends to go through and bust the tubes. It's alright for getting around and not bumping into things. The camera would really prefer to have better lighting. Sometimes I'm able to get away with daylight. As you can see, the sunlight makes a major difference. Sadly, my day job consumes most of it. I'm going to do this project in two phases. The first is to build this portable stand lamp out of one of these clip lamps that I got from the, uh, the box store for about six bucks. That's this video. In the second video, I'll be adding some better lighting to the ceiling. So the first thing I want to do is build a base for something that will hold up. Well, just watch. noticed that these bits didn't lie flat in the last scene. I solved that problem off camera by raising the blade half the amount the pieces were out of flush and then recutting. It wasn't too hard to figure out. So now I have nice perfect flat. Well, not quite perfect because my slots are a little wider than I'd like, but who cares? This is just a means to an end, right? <laughs> yeah, I gotta get me a better glue stick than, than that. Just a little glue here. Got a clamping action on that. Let that cure for an hour. So I've got a stop block set up here. I'm fixing to cut out some square pieces off the end of this what was cut off earlier. Make the feet. There we have it. Four feet. Pretty soon I'll glue those to the bottom of here. But this glue isn't finished drying yet. A little bit of glue. And ah, did I mention I need to do something about this? One guy uses a mustard dispenser. I think maybe I'll get one of those. I'm sure I'm using too much. Better that than too little, right? Let's see if I can clamp it with this. Placement is not rocket science here. Maybe I should just go ahead and lower the blade while I'm working. Oh yeah, in some 
people would probably tell me, Ian, line up with the grains. It's just a craft project, right? This isn't fine furniture. That's for later. Okay, so I guess I'll come back in about an hour, hour and a half. Remember the cutoff 2x4 from earlier? I'd like to slice it down the middle and connect the ends with this scarf joint. So now you can see this profile. I'm going to rip down the center. works out correctly. Perfect. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, I guess I need a clamp here pretty soon. I ultimately wound up just standing the two pieces up and aligning my clamp. Set it down and come back to it in, I don't know, whatever next time. set up standing clip attaches to the top and just aiming it at the ceiling and I flip it on it really brightens the place up in here it softens up the shadows gets rid of a lot of the shadows really and uh, if I need to aim it specifically at a piece of work I can just clip it here turn it on and uh, you know it's nice and bright stays pointing where I want it to point and uh, let's see, total price was about $11 for this. That's an LED bulb and uh, part of a 2x4, maybe a dollar, dollar fifty. One thing I've noticed though, it's not a good idea to be right exactly in the light. You really can't see me very well that way, can you? <laughs> 